So this is day one of practicing Mendelssohn's Songs Without Words. I've been working on Opus 67 number four, and this is the first day that I'm working on Opus 67 number one. So let's get into it. Um, now, my teacher John has already provided me a really good fingering, which certainly saves me a lot of time. And there's some good dis subdivisions um, between the two hands. Um, shifting some of the notes from the right hand into the left hand and vice versa. But let's get going and I'll talk about some of the things that I'm thinking about while I play through it. So in that first phrase, the left hand has this. And that actually is, you just have to be a little bit aware of getting not playing your three spread out while it's on the G. So I also want to make sure that as soon as I play the E flat, I'm moving over. Maybe it delayed a second. So I'm feeling that first verticality, three against five and then two against the thumb, two against one. And now that I have those two, well, let's add the second part. give myself a reminder there to play a three, so the left hand. Now in the second measure, the right hand plays. And the thing that I'm thinking about while I'm practicing here is I have that this third between four and two, and then I have a tritone between one and four. So I know that when I play my two to the left, I'm gonna have to rotate again. Intervals always rotate towards the thumb. So it's gonna be right, left, left, out. That's a little uh, tricky little part, the left hand. Feeling four against four in the right hand, five in the left hand. And it's really important to make note when two of your fingers of the same fingers play together. So I'll make a note of that and feel that verticality. And then out. That's an important moment. What's What I notice when I play that is my two is on E flat, and then the next time it plays it needs to be on a one, a tritone away. So I'm going to notice that I want to release the E flat, play my two here, and then have my one ready. So even in the first two measures, there's a lot of interesting things to look at. And these are just, the first day I try to keep the hands separate, just make note of interesting things that I want to keep track of. I'm not really trying to get a ton of it together. But I will try and get the first couple phrases. And I'll just take one short, that's just two beats. that a few times. Now, 
this is measure three. The left hand goes like that, and then the f I play a four, and then my one has to play on a B flat. So that's a big move between four, where I'm playing my one here, because I have this hand position, and then I need to be in this hand position. So I'm moving in there. This is measure three in the left hand. So just, this is measure three of Opus 67 number one. The left hand figure is a little bit tricky. So I know I need to be in that position. And then I play a four, B flat, three on D. So I'm covering a lot of ground. And what I'm noticing here is I'm moving into my four and when I play my one, I immediately have to release the, the uh, I'm playing my four a little bit more in so my thumb can be on B flat, and then I play that and I need to immediately release it so that my three can be in place to play the next note. And then we have a crossing over the thumb, making sure my whole hand comes with me, rotating back to the left, and then playing a one on D, and then that ends the figure, this little seventh arpeggio. So sometimes I'll take a 16th note passage and break it down into shapes. So this is a kind of blocked chord. So that's the first chord that I'm doing. And then the second one is that. That. So that, that, then I'm here, then I'm there, then I'm there. And that's a really good way to start measuring out where your hand needs to be, is breaking it down like that. And again, this, I'm doing this so you guys can get a better sense of how I practice, how I think about things. This is the first day that I've ever looked at this. So it's very slow in the beginning and you're really just taking the piece apart bit by bit and trying to block it out in your mind as best you see fit. figure happens twice and it's really important to note I'm rotating to the left towards the five and then I'm rotating again towards the left on the five So that's it for today, and I'm going to keep uh, logging, uh, practicing on Songs Without Words, Opus 67, number one, and hopefully we get to see a nice progression. Thanks, guys.